now we're ready to start assembling the uh, drum. <clears throat> I have my cover, which is the orange satin flame in kind of a retro 60s looks what I'm going for on this drum. And on each end, about an inch and a quarter, I put a piece of the pressure sensitive adhesive. So and this is pretty sticky stuff. You can buy it in a big roll. Uh, I bought it at a gasket place. They, uh, they have it in huge rolls. You can get it, I think, three feet wide. <clears throat> but I put that on each end. So what I'll do is I'll wrap it around, put it on the drum, then wrap it around and secure it. So what I'm gonna do first is show you on the drum the, uh, the hole for the, the mount, and I'm probably gonna mount that where the drum is kind of like this uh, to the side, and then the sensor goes straight across. So I want my plug, again, kind of to be on the back side where it's hidden so it's not seen so much, and I'll put my seam on the back side here facing me. Um, usually in between two sets of lugs. So it'll be, the seam will fall on the outside here. But this way, this will be out of the way. Also, it'll make a nice clean look in the front of the drum. And this will be the 12 inch. So what we're gonna do is test fit the actual piece. Again, kind of figuring that my seam is going to follow kind of fall here, I'm going to overlap that about a couple of inches. I've cut that, this is a 12 inch by seven and a half, so I've cut the material seven inches. That gives me about a quarter of an inch at the top and bottom to allow the head's room to ride and come over and kind of have clearance. And like I said, I've, I've tried to give a little bit of extra material so that it's got a good amount to hold on to. So I've got the original seam here and I've got this one here. So it's not gonna create a, a big thick area for the, the head to slide over, but it will give it a good amount of uh, material to hold on to so you don't have to worry about it slipping. So typically what I do is once I've got it positioned, test positioned like this, you can either tape it, which is what I've done in the past, and kind of put a piece of masking tape here and here on the edge that you're gonna start with and you're gonna glue down and then wrap around from there. So if you do that, you put a little piece of masking tape on each side, what that'll do is hold it in place. Then you just peel the, the protective layer away from the pressure sensitive adhesive and then just kind of stretch that around as tight as you can, pull it, and then glue the other part down. So I'll show you that when I'm finished. And now we've got the <coughs> drum is wrapped. Seam looks good. I mean, you can kind of burnish that down a little bit, make sure that seat's real good. Don't, uh, don't put it under your lugs on the actual, where the lugs actually are. That's what'll happen is when you tighten the lugs, it'll cause it to buckle. So put it in the, put it in the center between two lugs or two rows of lugs. Oh, it has a nice flat surface. It's not gonna buckle. It's not gonna, it's not gonna bow or anything like that. And it's kind of, again, like I said, burnish it down real good, rub it down, make sure that it's good and stuck down. So when I cut out the holes for the uh, actual lugs and mounts, I found it best to use an X-Acto knife. It's got a really sharp blade on it and it's got really fine point for cutting out the, core, or the holes for the actual lugs. So we'll go ahead and do that, get that ready, and then we'll start assembling the, the lug uh, lugs on it and the mounts and then the last thing we'll actually do is mount the sensor back in and then check the height of the sensor for uh, clearance for the head and then we're pretty much done after we wire it and I'll show you there's two wiring options there's one for Roland and one for Alesis um, and they are different 
and I'll post a uh, an actual link so you can see the difference in the wiring. But we'll get that done, and pretty much this drone will be done here in just a few minutes.